Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that Google had rolled out the early stable release of our next version upgrade for Google Chrome version 139, which they do a week or so before the general release to the public. And we are expecting 139 to start rolling out to the public next week, Tuesday, the 5th of August. Now I'll leave the video for the early stable I posted yesterday, linked down below and in the end screen. But just to let you know, for the very first time ever since Google started implementing the early stable, lo and behold, when I booted up my Windows 10 device and checked Chrome today, I'd received version 139, which wasn't there when I posted the video yesterday. And I've only received 139 on my Windows 10 device and not on my Windows 11 device. So, so I was quite happy to see that for the very first time ever, I had received the early stable, which only rolls out to a limited subset of users. Check that video out for more info because I'm not going to get into 139, what's new and what's not in this video. I'll post when it rolls out to the general public next week. Now, the purpose of this video, and obviously a topic that has gained quite a lot of interest, is the fact that Google in the Chrome browser is deprecating MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin in favor of MV3 extensions. And when I posted the early stable, I did say that there was a good chance that 139 would remove the workarounds to bring back and get uBlock Origin working once again in this next stable release of the browser. Now, the first thing I did this morning after realizing I'd received 139 was check if I could still re-enable uBlock Origin. And the good news is, is that you can, and it seems that in 139, you will still be able to use a couple of workarounds to re-enable uBlock Origin, if you so wish, using a couple of experimental flags. Now, I did posts a couple of weeks ago with 138, how I got uBlock Origin back and working in Chrome. And for what it's worth, I'll leave that video linked. But this is how you can do it in our next stable release of 139, there's three steps that Google has removed when it comes to experimental flags. So it's actually quicker to do it in 139. So if you are comfortable to fiddle with experimental features, what we would do is we would head up to our Omnibox and you would enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. This takes us to the experimental features. Now, the first thing you'll notice is we've been moved up to temporarily unexpire M138 flags. In the previous video, we had to do 137, but now we have to do 138. So we change that from default to enabled, and then I would suggest relaunching your browser to apply that first flag. And then the next step is we need to just enter MV2. And there are three flags that have been removed which I posted on in the previous video on how to get uBlock Origin back and working. So those are gone. So all you have to do now is you need to change allow legacy extension manifest versions. You need to enable that and then relaunch the browser. So those are the only two flags with version 139 that need to be enabled. So that's three flags less than what I posted on previously. And then what you would do now is you would head over to GitHub, and I'll leave this page in the description once again, and you scroll down to where you get the latest release of version 1.65 for uBlock Origin, because you cannot download it from the Chrome Web Store anymore, because Google has removed it, as mentioned previously. So here's 165 latest. And then what you would do is you would click on uBlock 1.65 Chromium, and you would download that to your local drive. And then after you've downloaded that, you would head to your downloads location and you would right click and extract all. And that will obviously extract that to a separate folder. And this contains all the different files that are needed for the uBlock origin extension in Google Chrome. And then after you've extracted that, you would head back to Chrome. 
You would head into your extensions and what you need to do once again is enable developer mode. And then you would head over to load unpacked, click on that and head to your downloads location. And then what you've got to do is you click on uBlock 1.65 Chromium. You just double click that. And then you will just click on uBlock Chromium. That's the one we need to select. Select folder. And you can see that it's imported it into my browser. Now, just on a side note, when I tested this out before posting, this process placed it in the browser's extensions page, but it wasn't enabled. This was grayed out. So what you might need to do is close Chrome and then open it again to actually get this as a working feature if it doesn't do that on the first attempt. And then what you can also do is you can click on errors to just clear all. But I have noted though, after closing and opening the browser with 139, that errors still is present, but the extension is still working. And there we go, that's uBlock Origin 1.65 that you can re-enable and get back working in our next stable release of Google Chrome version 139. And if we head up to our extensions, here we can see uBlock Origin once again enabled. And as I always say with these videos, this is currently how it works at the date of posting. This might even change next week when 139 rolls out to the general public because this is an early stable release and flags can be removed at any given time. But nonetheless, this is a good sign that 139 will let you still be able to use uBlock Origin in Google Chrome. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.